didn't sleep much last night. Ow! Oh, that freaking hurt. Gosh, energy. Ow. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Logan Tyler Nelson Show, where in this video, I'm going to show you how to get some energy hacks going in your life, uh, especially if you only got a little bit of sleep last night, especially if you got like a 20-page essay due that was actually due yesterday, um, or if you've just got a lot of trouble focusing in your life and you got no energy and you didn't sleep good last night like I said earlier this video is for you so keep on watching so first things first please do not sit down at all if you don't have a lot of energy if you don't have a lot of energy, the worst thing you can do is sit down and try to do a task. Please try to do it standing up. If you have the ability to do that, it'll help you so much in the end. So, I mean, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of offices with these small little cubicles, something that looks like this, right? You can simply set your laptop on that little corner right there. Or you can simply type on your phone if you got an email that you got to type out and re return to someone. You can even write up your entire essay. I guarantee you're faster at writing on your phone nowadays than you are writing on a computer. I mean, some people, it's debatable that you're faster on your computer, but I bet you anything that you're pretty fast on your phone too. So there's no reason to be sitting down and doing your work. Standing is going to help you think more clearly to get a task done. And it's gonna keep you energized if you do it that way. The second point I wanna to talk to you about is if you're feeling tired, do mini workouts throughout the day. Like take five to 10 minutes to do a mini workout. I personally like doing 40 jumping jacks, 30 ab crunches, 20 little squats, and 10 push-ups. If you can't do that, no big deal, I mean, you don't have to do what Arnold would recommend and put on three plates on one side and then three plates on the other side and then try to squat and, and then call you a little pansy if you can't do it. That's fine. If you can't do that much, that's okay. It's all right to do something a little less, like just 10 jumping jacks. If you can only do 10 jumping jacks, that's also enough. The third thing I want to talk about for an energy hack is meditation. <laughs> you don't have to actually do meditation for 20 minutes at a time. I personally only do meditation for about two to five minutes. I use a little app called Calm, which is great. You should download it as soon as you can. It's really simple. You just go to the timed meditation and you can do two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And it's pretty cool. It just plays a little ambience of a nice breeze, an ocean. And it's nice because it's timed. And then it gives you a little like message at the end like, you know, the future only happens one day at a time. Or our best thoughts happen when we're in peace. And it's true. Because I don't know about you, but oftentimes in the shower, when I'm doing my, you know, showering thing, you know, getting getting clean, feeling good, getting hit by Mr. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I feel like I get my best ideas. I don't know why, but all that stuff that I consumed during the day, I finally put it at rest, and now great ideas pop up. So if you got a problem in your life, maybe taking some time and doing a little meditation will not just give you energy, but it'll also be the solution to your problem. So, and the last thing I wanna talk about is the Pomodoro technique. It's not exactly like an energy hack, but it'll allow you to work at small bits of time so you don't run out of energy trying to get it all done at once. For example, what if you're trying to eat an elephant, right? There's this huge, huge elephant, this huge elephant that's like this big. If you tried to eat that thing in one sitting, 
We've also talked about the sitting, so don't do it. But if you did try to eat it in one sitting, it would fill you up, and there's no way you'd be feeling it. Like you want to do anything after doing that. One huge big bite, right? You would not want to move around after filling up your stomach. So if you only did it in like 20 minute bursts, maybe you ate a little bit of this elephant for 20 minutes, and then you ate another bit of this elephant for 20 minutes, and then another bit of this elephant for 20 minutes, and in between you took like, I don't know, maybe a 15 minute break, you probably would do pretty good. The same thing goes for like writing a huge paper that's 20 pages long. When you work at 20 minute bursts, you're gonna be able to get stuff done. And then even set up maybe a reward system for you. Like in between those little 20 minute bursts, you go and look up your favorite music artist and you listen to your favorite song. You know what I'm saying? You listen to your favorite song and get moved to the beat. Again, that movement's gonna help you out and wake you up. Or maybe you don't feel like dancing. Watch your favorite YouTube video that's gonna make you laugh. Maybe it's my YouTube video. Maybe it's my terrible impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger that makes you laugh. I don't know, whatever works for you. So to sum it all up, Guys, do not sit. Do your work standing. Do your work standing. And the second one was, do you remember? You guys remember? So it's, it's okay if you didn't remember. So do mini workouts throughout the day. Do these mini workouts. Like I said, the 10 jumping jacks. Get your body moving any way possible to get your body moving. Those short mini workouts are gonna be better than a shot of espresso, I promise. The third way is meditation. Take some time to relax, to put yourself at peace. You don't have to do it for more than a, you know five to 10 minutes. And your best ideas, I don't know what it is, but they come up at times of peace. Like when you're in the shower, like I said earlier, or when you're just simply doing nothing. Driving the car, how often do you get great ideas while you're driving the car? It's so weird, too bad. <laughs> because oftentimes we don't have a pen or paper, but you know what, I have actually written on my phone while driving, because I had these really, really good ideas that I really, 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 really wanted to spread, but don't tell anybody, please don't tell the cops that I do that, sometimes I just, I like doing that, you know, it's not texting and driving, it's writing and driving, I don't know if there's a, is there, is there, is there a law that you can do that? Anyways, moving on. And the last one is the Pomodoro Technique. Remember how I talked about it earlier? You do want to eat that elephant in 20 minute bursts. I know it's kind of gross and sick to think about, but there's no way to eat an elephant in one sitting. You've got to do it in little small chunks. There's no way to get a 20 page essay done in one sitting. You've got to do it in small little chunks and set up a reward system for yourself. In those five to 10 minute little chunks, it's so easy to just listen to some music and wake yourself up through that way. Or it's so easy to watch your favorite YouTube video. Guys, thank you so much for watching an episode of Logan Tyler Nelson's show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really hope that you liked this video. I hope that you subscribe to my channel and please connect with me on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts. If you guys reach out to me, I'd love to connect with you. I'd love, love to connect with you. Guys, and always remember, you are enough. Guys, have a great day.